porn star to tell. Okay. Navigating this world with a disability, you're told <laughs> kind of two simultaneous stories about yourself. You're either told that you are an inspiration just for seemingly kind of getting out of bed in the morning, that you're exceptional just for existing in a space. And you're also told that you don't deserve the right to enter that coffee shop because there's stairs. You don't deserve that time off of work that you need to go to a doctor's appointment. Trying to navigate those two things at once is incredibly difficult. My name is Emily Vordy and I work to support Chastin in the field. So I was born with a condition called uh, osteogenesis imperfecta. It's uh, often referred to as brittle bone disease. So due to a random mutation in, a, um, in my genetic code, the collagen in my bones uh, isn't produced normally. In the course of my life, I've had, I would say, upwards of 150 broken bones, 26, 27 or so um, surgeries to help prevent and correct those fractures. I didn't grow up alongside kind of a baked in community of, or a family of people with disabilities. And while I learned so, so much from my able-bodied peers, I think it uh, put me in a unique situation to kind of try to navigate what that identity meant to me. On the campaign trail, uh, I was traveling with Chastin and we landed at our connection in Dallas and I gate check my chair. We're getting off the plane and we get to my chair and it is completely inoperable. And that unfortunately is not the first time that that's happened to me. And despite it having happened numerous times now, it never hurts any less. It really just set me back because I was gonna be fine. But um, what was my responsibility in that moment to everybody else um, that was no um, less worthy of decency, but that was really, you know, put in the same, same situation would really be uh, struggling um, at no fault of their own. Again, just for trying to navigate this world. <sighs> Oh, I didn't think I would cry. I know a lot of folks with OI that are at very different places in their lives right now, not at all by fault of their own, but because they were surrounded by people time and time again that told them it's just not worth it because this is it. You might be the only advocate that you have. This country deserves to get to a place where that weight, that onus doesn't have to be carried on the shoulders of the people that are just asking for the same access, the same rights as their able-bodied peers. I am not on this campaign trail to inspire people. I am on this campaign to advocate for people with disabilities in a way that is substantive. People with disabilities deserve a president that sees them not as a burden or a barrier or a line item in a bill, but as holistic beings, they need a leader that has a vision to carve out a place in this world for them. A place that otherwise is only carved out by the work that they are doing day in and day out for themselves. I believe to the core of my being that that leader is Pete and that that plan is the disability policy that he is going to put forward. Disability is not something that we can turn on and off. It is not a hat that we wear in some rooms and in not others. It is something that we carry with us each and every single day. And it's going to take a leader that recognizes that in order for us to find a space in this country.